What is up, my beautiful Marmars, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna make something I can eat. I, I think I can eat it. I'm not entirely sure if we can eat it or not, but yeah, yeah, I think I can eat it. Let's, yeah. We're gonna make marshmallow slime. Yeah, all right, let's get to it. First, you're gonna start off by heating up your pan. Then, you're gonna get some coconut oil, and then just put like a, a tablespoon of coconut oil. It melts really, really fast. Throw in some marshmallows. A lot of marshmallows. More marshmallows. Yes, yes. Okay, don't, make sure the pan's not too hot. Like right here, I was like, oh crap, it's it's way too hot. You gotta turn it down on low and eventually it's gonna start simmering. Then you wanna add more marshmallows and just put them all together, get them all to one big family like us. Like we're all beautiful marmars. Look at all that. Oh, we're all melded together now like marshmallows. Get it? Okay, bad joke, bad joke. You wanna add some red dye now. Once you add the red dye, just add a lot of it and just stir it all around, stir it all around. You know, the white is gonna balance out the red. So it's gonna be more of a pink. It's still red in our hearts, still red. And now you wanna add arch onto some parchment paper just so it won't stick to your counter. I mean, this is just a personal preference, but pour it on there now. So it's gonna help it be not as sticky, but it's still gonna be really sticky, you know. But oh, look at that. Look how it's just flowing so beautifully. Oh my gosh, uh, this pan is getting really heavy now. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh man. Okay, look at all this marshmallow slime. Yes, yes. Pour it in there. Oh, get in there. Come on. Okay, cool. Now that we have all our marshmallow onto the paper slash starch, we wanna add more starch and just mix this bad boy up together. What the starch is gonna do is help the marshmallow be less sticky. I don't want to add too much starch because I want it to be very slimy still without it being like harder because the more starch you add, the thicker it's going to get. I'm just trying to mix it together with these two ladles so it won't stick to my hand. You can actually put some starch on your hand and start mixing it together. It'll be less sticky. Still going to get stuck to your hand eventually. Like, see, I can touch these pieces perfectly fine, but as soon as I find pieces without starch on it, it's going to start getting stuck to me. So here we go. I'm just using my hand because, come on, it's way more fun to use your hands than some like paddle. So yes, look at that. Wow. Wow. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. I love just playing with slime. I don't know why it's so satisfying. Okay, now it's starting to get stuck to me. This is an issue, but you know, it's fun still. Look at this. Yes. Whoa, whoa. is so sticky but you guys asked for marshmallow slime you got marshmallow slime so let's see what it can do whoa look how long this is oh my god marshmallow slime i'm not gonna lie although it's not as less sticky as the foamy one it is still awesome and fun to like play with it's just that once you're in it you get in it like you're not leaving this is one of those slimes that's like once you're in there you gotta play with it it's forcing you to play with it you have to play oh my gosh my hands are just beyond stuck. That. Look at how stuck that is. Mmm, it's so sticky. You got some that's like stuck to my mouth. I can't unstick it. Mmm, it'll be really awesome if I added some strawberry flavor to this. Marshmallow slime. Ooh, whoa. Look, it's so sticky and so. But here we go, guys. I'm gonna take a bite of marshmallow slime. Taste test. Here we go. It's delicious! Well, as you guys could guess, it's delicious because it's literally just marshmallow plus food coloring, but look how awesome this marshmallow slime is. Look how sticky this is. <sighs> if you guys add more powder, it'll be less sticky. You can play with it more. I just, I wanted it to be more slimy, you know? Slime is fun. But the more powder you add, the less slimy it will be and the more Play-Doh you will be. Right now, it's like hardening and it's making it really hard for my fingers. Look at that. Look at my fingers. They're trying to move so hard. It's so hard. Yeah. Mmm. This is really good though. If you guys like marshmallows like me, this is heaven and you can play with it. Like, it's so, it's getting, it's cooling down so it's getting harder to like rip apart. Oh, this is like a workout. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh, that's a bad idea. That's, oh man, that was a terrible idea. Oh no, now it's gonna be all around my wrist. Uh, I can't turn the camera off to wash my hands and say anything, so I'm just gonna end the video here. Ugh. This is oh, guys. If I don't make a video for tomorrow, it's because my hands are sealed shut from the marshmallow. It's getting harder and harder to rip apart now. 
Uh oh. Uh, uh, well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed me making marshmallow slime. I want to say thank you guys to all my beautiful Marmars for supporting me and being so nice to each other in the comments. Like, this is why I love being a YouTuber, honestly, is because I get to reply to you guys instantly. And the fact that my Marmars are so nice to new people that aren't even Marmars, and sometimes you guys are even nice to haters, like, in a nice, like, funny way. I cannot tell you guys how grateful I am to have a community like you guys. Like, there's a lot of YouTubers out there that have fans, they don't really have, like, a family like we do and that's why I appreciate you guys so much like I want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing everyone in the comments is like so nice and that's what I want to put out there is that positivity and that's the kind of marmars I want out there just positive marmars I don't want people saying like hey man I'm gonna do this to you I'm gonna blah blah, blah. and just leave me hate comments all the time so like I'm just so proud and I just want to take a moment in this video to say that I know I don't really get to talk to you guys that much because I'm constantly making awesome DIYs but I wanted to really let you guys know how I felt about that. If you guys want more Marmars in the family, continue liking and subscribing. Thank you guys so much. I just, I can't express how happy I am. I'll see you guys tomorrow. If I can open my fingers. Peace. Wait, I gotta do that right. Wait. Peace. What is up, my beautiful Marmars? And welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we are deep frying something and taste testing something. At carnivals, I've seen a lot of deep fried Oreos and deep fried things. But I was thinking, what if I take Pop Tarts and deep fry them? And what better Pop Tarts to choose than Oreo flavored ish Pop Tarts and deep fry them? So let's do it. You're gonna need a scoop of flour, some more flour, some more flour and sugar, salt. Mix the dry ingredients 